Tonight, a teenager from Chula Vista is recovering from gunshot wounds after he was shot by a friend. This is the second accidental shooting of a child in less than a week. News 8's Amanda Shotsky has details on today's shooting and a reminder for gun owners. Those fighting to stop gun violence say a rise in accidental shootings was only a matter of time. A 15 year old lies in the street surrounded by paramedics. This just moments after being shot by his 16 year old friend. We discovered uh, one victim had a gunshot wound to his abdomen. It happened in National City Friday morning at a home in the 500 block of T Avenue. And it turns out this wasn't an act of violence, but rather an accidental shooting. We don't know whether the gun was secured and one of the teens knew how to get it out. This incident comes just five days after a gun was accidentally fired at a kid's sleepover in Chula Vista. 12-year-old Max Mendoza was hit and killed. It's yeah. surreal. It's like, who, who goes home and thinks their 12-year-old brother is gone? Like he was only 12, you know, he had so much to live for. Uncertainty during the pandemic caused a major surge in gun sales throughout the nation. 110,000 firearms purchased here in California, according to a UCSD study. Wendy Wheatcroft with San Diego Moms Demand Action says with those numbers, it's only a matter of time before accidents happen. We saw record numbers of gun sales over the quarantine period, and many of those gun owners are brand new gun owners. They may not be well versed in safety. In San Diego, the law states that firearms must be kept inside a locked safe or have a trigger lock while inside the home. And now, San Diego Moms Demand Action has launched an educational campaign called Be Smart. The mission is to educate gun owners about safe storage. It's so hard to watch because it's, it's so preventable. Um, and yet, still, millions of children live in homes with unlocked unsecured weapon and it's just asking for tragedy tonight national city police say this latest shooting remains under investigation